Hello, my name is Voya and welcome to my deep guide. Today I wanted to test out something specific about the note taking devices, primarily the Remarkable 2, Note 3 for the books platform and the Supernote A6X. And this time we are checking out how far can you go and what can you do on these devices if you keep them exclusively as offline devices from the first moment they are started, never connected online. So let's check that out. I just did a full factory reset of the Note 3 and since then it has never been hooked up to anything. So Wi-Fi has never been turned on or configured or anything like that. What I'm mainly interested in is can I uh, get the documents onto the device? Can I edit the documents? Can I get them off the device? And can I uh, get my notes that I write on the device? Can I get them easily off the device? So first I need to make a test note. And yeah, of course, it's gonna always give me some warnings. It's like, hey, you're not, you're not online. You need to be online. Maybe I don't wanna be online. So here we go and let's choose a normal pen, thickness 3 and just, uh, yeah, I really don't need anything more than that because it's plenty. So what I should be able to do is of course hit save, but what I should also be able to is to do export and as a single page or as a PDF, in this case let's do a PDF, yep without any problems, it exported it. If I go to the library, I should be able to simply hook the device up. Yes. Now he's gonna be dinging because I didn't do the did not, do not disturb thing. But yeah, that's fine for this purpose. All right, so I'm on my PC here. So I'm going to go into the books folder and I'm just gonna transfer the entire test documents folder here. So now it's currently copying and should be done in about 40 seconds or less. And here we go. The transfer is done. All of the books have been transferred, including the giant one. And if I go to the library, it automatically already figured them all out. So I'm going to remain connected because I want to take the, the files off of it as well at some point. But for now, let's just open up um, yeah, or as usual, Geology of Mars. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna collapse it. And I'm gonna go to yeah, page number two. These are my remarks on the topic. Right, and then I could just go down here. So that's me marking up a document as a test and a bookmark and all that kind of stuff. And as far as I understand it, now this is automatically saved. So if I copy this document off of the device, I should be able to simply have it marked. So let's try that. All right, so this is me on the internal storage of the Note 3, right? So I should be able to just go to the books folder and find my Geology of Mars. Let's copy it over here. And uh, yeah, while we're at it, let's go back a few steps and go into Note, Notepad 1, and this is the notepad that I created. So let's double check and see what we get. All right, this is the document that I opened up and there we go. So these are the comments that I have. And would you look at that? They are actually uh, in the document. These are exported as uh, strokes, which is kind of cool. So that's a cool thing to see. But yeah, so offline, fully offline still, and that works. And the notepad, um, yeah, these are rasterized as I've talked in the other video, but the notebook is also exported normally. So um, yeah, I am definitely able to do the stuff that I need this device for, which is ultimately that it works as a note taking device to take notes and take notes off of it and also to use it as a reader to um, upload books and documents onto it offline, mark those documents and books and everything and get those documents off of the device while fully being offline. Yeah, I can absolutely do all of those things and that's an excellent thing. So those are the primary functions of this device and it's absolutely able to do them 
without any hindrance at all while remaining completely offline. So excellent functionality there. Let's check out uh, while we're still offline and everything. Uh, let's see if it can do the uh, text conversion or conversion to text. So let's see AI original recognition. Okay, so it uh, the handwriting uh, certification requires initially to have Wi-Fi to have it certified once at least because when I actually try to do this on a Note Air after having been online once and doing this certification for the first time then it's able to do it actually offline because I assume it downloads a package or something for this kind of thing but for a never online device no it is not able to do it it has that limitation and as far as the reader goes and the dictionaries, similar thing applies. However, you are able to manually install uh, dictionary packages from the USB itself. So with a little bit of hassle, yes, you actually can get a dictionary functionality uh, in the reader portion of the book's device. It's a little bit of a hassle, but it is possible. Now I've just done factory reset of the Super Note A6X and yeah, I did not hook it up online. Uh, the Wi-Fi is off and basically it's a totally offline device, never hooked up online. So I'm gonna perform the same things. I'm gonna try to, uh, yeah, just create a normal notebook, take a couple of notes. So yeah, let's just do a note and create a notebook there we go i need to give it a style so let's just um, use a template and yeah just a normal eight millimeter line apply and let's just write a test line here all right so that's my test example done and i should be able to simply save or export there we go export and yeah, as a PNG or PDF, I'm just gonna do PDF. It doesn't matter if one works, all of them work. Export, it has been exported successfully. And so far it's not asking for any kind of login or anything like that, which is kind of nice. So the next thing that I wanna do is I wanna get into the documents mode. And in here, I need to hook it up to the PC. There we go. So now it's hooked up and it has appeared as a device here as well. So excellent. I can just go here, go to documents and simply drag and drop this whole folder into it. It's finished the transfer. So now we have test documents here. All of the documents are uploaded. In this case, I'm gonna open the ethics and the origin development. I'm just gonna make some notes on a, on a page, who knows where. Um, this is where my notes shall be, okay? So that's, um, that that works and now i should be able to export this as well yep i could have picked a smaller document though but that's fast enough all right so that's exported now let's move on to the pc and let's see what do we get so this is me on the super note and as far as I know, in the export, I should find both of these guys. So I can just simply copy them over here. Now, I should have named my notebook something else because then the name would have been more normal. But let's open them up and see what we get. All right, so we got the book here and it seems to be preserved normally. And this is where my notes are. Okay, so that's pretty much good. Again, these are rasterized as well. So definitely a plus on the books platform because uh, in the documents they are as vectors. However, yeah, I am able to export, which is great. So that kind of works as expected. And the notebook, there we go. 
as I discussed previously, not the best results, but that's not what I'm testing. What I'm testing is what I can get while in offline mode. So that definitely works. So now let's check out the dictionary functions, if that works in offline mode, and also can it do handwriting to text uh, conversion while offline. And yeah, here's the thing, we don't actually have a dictionary in the Supernote world. So I can select one word and it will be doing all the normal functionalities, but there is no dictionary, there's no translation or anything like that. So that's not a function that's uh, here apparently, um, even, as, uh, even if it's online or offline, it doesn't matter. So open up the note and let's do the uh, translation or conversion of this, so if I select it and we can convert to text and keyword recognition failed like i haven't had that before so let's try again it's totally failed let's see if maybe can you recognize this question Okay, let's do that. No. So I am not able to get any kind of recognition while in offline mode on the super note. And here we are with the Remarkable 2. So I have just done a complete factory reset and skipped all of the setup. So it's never been online, never hooked up on Wi-Fi or any, and it's of course not uh, registered on a account or anything like that. So this is, um, for all intents and purposes, an offline device, never Wi-Fi even turned on. So let's see what can we do with it. Can I create a new notebook? Yes, excellent. And then I can choose this and name it uh, my test notebook. Okay, now let's write a test line. Of course, yeah, I still I can't skip this. Okay, yes, yes, thank you, excellent. All right, so this is my test line for the of line test okay so um obviously i can normally write and all these kind of things but this is where it gets to be tricky with the remarkable as a platform because the only thing you have is share and um, yeah you can send by email which definitely doesn't work for us live view live view beta definitely doesn't work for us and the only other thing that we have is convert to text and send but this requires a cloud connection so uh, yes, you can write, but so far, uh, yeah, the notes, the, the contents remains completely locked onto this device. And furthermore, even if you do uh, connect it via the USB uh, and uh, yeah, you don't have access to it because it does not appear as a USB device. And even if you use the SSH connection and kind of hack into it, there's nothing you can do with this one because it's using a proprietary format per layer and all that kind of stuff. So you don't have a usable PDF file. So that's obviously something that's a, a huge negative as far as offline type of application or device goes. It's all centralized and kind of remains locked to the device itself. Now let's see can we actually get any documents onto it to just read even if we can't get anything off of it now we know that documents or notebooks doesn't matter you can't get anything off the remarkable platform if you are offline but can we get some documents onto it now obviously we can't use the app because that uses the server so the next option should be that dreaded and horrible uh, usb over ip uh, interface that they have, but let's try and get uh, a couple of simple documents onto it and see if that works. All right, so let's enable the USB web interface. And uh, we are now on a web browser, which in itself is kind of already cheating because you need at least a device that's online, or maybe it doesn't. Let me turn off um, yeah i'm just gonna turn my computer offline as well all right so now my pc is not connected to anything i have 
disconnected it completely and uh, let's just test to make sure that that's uh, true um, yeah let's let's just click anything uh, really so yeah we're definitely offline all right so let's type in that address on um, 10 11 let's see 91.1 do we have anything no let's try with HTTP but I really doubt that that's the problem it has so HTTP I mean as soon as it's HTTP it can't do it so no so no normal way of getting content onto the device um, this way so let's see if we can hack it with the SSH access so let's do that all right, so let's establish uh, the IP addresses available to connect are listed below. And of course, there are no IP addresses because we are offline. So it's unable to do the SSH either. So you're totally stuck. It's uh, absolutely the worst one of all as far as offline performance goes. You can't get any content onto it anyway there's there's really, really no way that you can get any content onto it if you are completely offline and you want to stay completely offline and that means offline computer offline device so yeah definitely doesn't work that way literally the only thing you can use the remarkable for if you want it to be a completely offline type of a platform is simply writing notes and then they stay there because you can't take them off of the device in any way. So a completely locked down platform. Well, that was interesting for me because both uh, the books platform and the Supernote A6, they both performed very, very similarly. So you were perfectly able to take notes, uh, export notes as PDFs or PNG if you want, and um, yeah, mark up the documents, get the documents onto the device while completely staying offline. So very, very similar performance in both of them. Neither were able to do text recognition without ever hooking up online. But as I mentioned, if you do hook up the books device online once to actually download the text signature database thingy then it will be able to do it afterwards offline but that would be cheating because the whole point of this is never online it's like how far can you go with the device never ever going online and a slight advantage does go to the books platform mainly because you have that ability to sideload dictionaries and it has a dictionary functionality while the supernote a6x doesn't have dictionary functionality at all at the moment so slight advantage overall in this offline performance goes to the books platform. Unfortunately, in this test, the Remarkable platform, in this case Remarkable 2, was absolutely the worst performing as well, basically being a completely locked out platform where you can only take the notes and you can't export them and you can't load any documents or any kind of files onto it if you want it to be completely offline. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and ding the notification bell to get notified when the new videos on my deep guide come out. Also check out the channel if you're new to the channel, especially I recommend that you check out the playlist because I organize videos on a per device kind of playlist so that you can find them in a more easy, easier manner. If you like what I do, check out the my deep guide on patreon.com. If you become an official patron, you get uh, exclusive access to bloggy vloggy type of videos behind the scenes and all that kind of stuff as a thank you for your generous support. That's it from me. Stay safe, stay healthy and see you in the next video. Bye!